I'm a fan of all of those. And that lead at 20 as the Thunder has reeled off 16 unanswered points. And Adams with another bid for a steal. which should set up a rather interesting night Monday in Cleveland. Rodney Magruder obviously getting taunted by somebody, and I would guess J.R. Smith yeah. on that Cleveland bench. It's J.R. Smith. They hold holding J.R. Smith back. And J.R. Smith is saying some things to Dion Wade. It's a very interesting response by Cleveland after getting blown out here in Miami by 28. This equals for the third time, the widest margin of victory ever for a Heat team over Cleveland. And Tony, I find this to be a very curious response by the Cavaliers. Why be agitated now? It's really not the Cavaliers, it's J.R. Smith. And there, a slap in the back of uh, Channing Fry. Needless. And what is that about? Oh, wow. And then J.R. Smith. An earful to the rookie. You don't do that stuff. No, you don't. I, I don't care who you're playing. Don't worry, baby. You got to come to Cleveland now. Yep. With, with a full boat. You got to come to Cleveland now. Don't poke the bear. Don't poke the bear. They are help. Led to the locker room. And who knows? These guys could be facing each other in the first round of the playoffs. Roll, singler, jump it, canter. No. Got a whistle. That's a push. And we're talking. Ken already has one technical foul. He's gone. He's gone. Tanner's gone. Oh, he might have caught on Exxon. Let's see. Oh, we got two 11s. Let me hold off. You're right. Thinks it's Canner. Oh. Chris and Bonley. Into it here a little bit. We talked about the intensity of this game when it began. These guys are playing hard. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happened here. Ooh, Booker. Oh, well, grab him on the face. Molly didn't appreciate the way Booker came through that screen. And this has been going on all game between those two. And Euless jumps in, of all people. Yeah. Good job by the referees and the teammates coming and grabbing. Jody Meeks commits the foul. Foul by Jody Meeks. The officials have to separate them. They got tangled up down here. Yes, Remember, both were on the floor, so uh, obviously Meeks took exception to something Lowry did on the other end. Yeah. Just, a little, just a little bump there. Perhaps uh, just to try and steal the ball, but then after he spoke, some harsh words. You wonder what's going on between those two. Kyrie Irving, the offensive rebound, shuffle pass inside, and Thompson hit hard. And a hard foul by Draymond Green. Obviously, the crowd responds. To the replay on the big screen. Livingston fouls. That by definition, from what we see in the NBA, that's a flagrant fact. By definition, you are correct, Mike. That's coming straight down on the head of Tristan Thompson.
Defensive part of the game is where he is going to be getting or have to get better a little bit. Well, Lyles exchanging some words. Let's watch it here. You see Lyles gives a little pump. And then Anderson comes back on him. You know, to me, that, that's not nothing Trey Lyles did. You can't have shooting turnovers like the J.R. Smith shot. That was just a wild shot. Raymond Green just got called for a foul and kind of threw his arm. And if there's a technical, that's two. Ast, technical, technical foul. That's two. He's gone. That's an automatic ejection on your second technical. He turns around. He waves his hand. And Mark Davis on the opposite side of the court calls a second technical foul. That's a tough call of your Warriors play offense. That's the kind where you just, as an official, you just have to look the other way. On such an important game and an important goal, just what we talked about moments ago with Steve Gavin. And Mike, if you're Draymond Green right now, you see the response. Upset. You got to get off the court. Just leave the court. Understand you're too important. Exit the court. There's no way that deserved a technical foul. Meanwhile, Draymond Green missed opportunity for Washington, trailing by four. They go to Millsap again. Drives on Morris, and another foul called. Boy, is Paul Millsap taking this game personally as well. He's intent on this time getting the contact. Watch it, get that guy, and then go right into the body of Marquis. They may want to take a look and keep an eye on Millsap's right arm as he shoved it. Morris out of the way. And then... Again, the lead is three. Ball on the floor. Wow. <laughs> and a jump ball will be called. Budenholzer is at mid-court saying, how can you call a jump ball when I got my guy with your guys draped all over him? Boy, Porter gets on the floor, and then Marquise does, ties him up, but at some point he doesn't make contact with the ball, and you're right, he's on top of Millsap. Oh, I tell you what, he's very fortunate yes. he didn't get called for his third person. Very fortunate. He was all over him. for Marquise Morris, and that is the end. Now there's some words between Morris and Millsap, which started before this game even tipped off. And, uh, that will be must-see TV in the second half. Two guys that don't plan to back down from each other. Marquis Morris and Paul Millsap. 